Hello friends, Tony here. So this is going to be the last video for the Laravel localization. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the pluralization. Now, pluralization is a complex problem as different languages have a variety of complex rules for pluralization. However, Laravel can help you translate strings differently based on pluralization rules that you define using a pipe character, okay? You may distinguish singular and plural forms of a string. And we have an example. Apples. There is one apple and also pipe here. So the using a pipe character. And there are many apples. Of course, pluralization is also supported when using translation strings as keys. Here is an example. There is one apple, pipe. There are many apples, and here is the translation. Okay, now you may even create more complex pluralization rules which specify translation strings for multiple ranges of values. So apples, and in curly braces we added zero, so which means if we have a zero apples, there are not pipe, then in array we specify the first value from one to 19, if we have 1 to 19 apples, it's going to say if there are some, and pipe again, in array we specify from 20 to infinity, it's going to say if there are many. After defining the translation strings that has pluralization options, you may use the transchoice function to retrieve the line for a given count. Okay, so here we have transchoice is the message and we add the comma and then the count. So let's start and work with that. I'm going to copy this and let's open the VS code and in the lang welcome here I'm going to add this one also. So apples if it's zero, it's going to say there are none. One to 19 is going to say there are some, and 20 and above is going to say there are many. And let's save this. Also, let's go in the yes directory. Welcome here. The same thing. Just now, here I'm going to copy this and translate to Spanish. Okay, so I'm going to open a new tab here and say Google Translate paste it here and I'm going to copy that and replace this one. Okay, let's save. Okay, and now let's open views and uh, welcome blade. Here we say welcome.welcome .welcome, which is going to display this one. And then we say welcome name this color. And in here I'm going to add that message. Okay, which is Apples. So welcome dot apples. But if I save that, it's going to say it's going to display the string we have in here because we need to use the trans choice as we have here in the example. Okay, so trans choice and the message and also the count, not the underscore underscore. So let's use that trans choice underscore choice and the first one is the message and then the count. For example, let's say zero. If I save now and let's see the browser, yeah, there are none. As you can see, if I say uh, two save there are some because we have here 1 to 19 is going to say there are some and if we say 20 or more it's going to say there are many so let's change that to 20 come here and it's going to say there are many okay as we saw here pluralization is also supported when using translation strings as keys so uh, JSON 
and I'm going to copy this. So let's open also the yeah JSON, and I'm going to paste what we have in here. Okay, and it's going to be the same. But if I open the yes, JSON is going to change. Okay, so first let's add the English and then I'm going to copy that we have in the Spanish, which is going to translate in Spanish. Okay, save now. And in the welcome blade, instead of using the welcome.ables, now we need to pass uh, this string. So let's copy this and let's go in the welcome blade and paste that one. Okay, we paste here the string and let's save that. Go here, we say there are many because the count is 20. If we say Two, save, there are some, and if we say zero, it's going to say there are none. Okay. Also, we can, uh, you may also define placeholder attributes in pluralization strings. So this placeholder may be replaced by passing an array as the third argument to the transchoice function. Here we have transchoice, we have the translate message, the count and then an array. We specify the value in which we add here colon value. Okay. And for that, I'm going to work with the uh, users. So first, let's go on the welcome and I'm going to say users here. And it's going to say uh, that there are no users. If is zero, if is one to five, I'm going to say there are not some, but I'm going to use the value. Okay, so I'm going to use this value for user and I would say there are colon value users. And I'm going to use only this two. Okay, now let's copy this and translate in uh, Spanish. So copy that, go to the welcome in ES directory and replace this. Also here we need to say users, let's save and let's go to ES JSON and also here we need to replace this one welcome.php in the en. I'm going to copy this and paste it in the en.json. In here, also in here, and uh, save, and also in esjson in here. Okay, so this is the string, and we are going to translate to this one. Okay, now let's open the web routes. And here, instead of view, I'm going to say get and use a closure. So use a function. And here, return the view welcome. But first, I'm going to get the count of the users. So I'm going to say dollar sign count to be equal with user user count like this. Let's import the user model from the app models user. And here we need to pass the users. So use a compact helper count like this. Okay, save. Now let's close the web PHP. And first I'm going to work with the PHP files. So users. In the welcome blade, here, instead of the string, we are going to use the welcome dot 
users. Okay. And here instead of hard coded zero, I'm going to use the count. So let's say dollar sign count here. Save. Come here and we have there are value users because we need the add also the third argument, which is an array, and we say value. which is going to be, in our case, is going to be count. If I save that, and as you can see here, say there are four users, because also in my database, we have four users, as you can see. Now, if I go and register a new user, so let's say register, fake filler here, okay. Let's go now to home page. Now we have there are five users. Good. Now let's work with the JSON file. And I'm going to go in the EN. Copy this. Go to welcome blade. Replace this one with the string. So if it's zero, it's going to say there are no users. Otherwise, it's going to say there are value users and here is my mistake not one to five but one to infinity and let's save let's come here and refresh it's going to say there are five users if the count is zero also here we say zero save it's going to say there are no users now, go back, save this, and I want to see that in uh, Spanish. So let's go to dashboard and change the local to be yes. Okay, go back to home page, and we see here there are five users. And that's it because here we changed the value from one to five to one to infinity, the asterisk here. And in the EN JSON, we need to do that. And save also in the ES JSON, we need to do that. And also here. And also here. And in the welcome, the same thing because we have one if is no users, otherwise want the infinity is going to say you have some users here. Okay, so replace the one to five to one to infinity in all the welcome PHP in the EN directory and welcome PHP in the ES and also in the EN JSON and ES JSON. And now if we see, yeah, we have translated in uh, Spanish. Okay friends, that's it all about this video and all about the Laravel translation. I hope you enjoy and if you like such a video, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.